with us? Welcome back. Hey. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative, at its core specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now, right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you've got a long way to go. December 11th, 2054. Zurich security forces are receiving an anonymous tip giving them a location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower of these the packet. They got caught with their pants down and they took it hard. Now it come, train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Hey, Taylor, you're a tool. He didn't hear anything. If I want to talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. Just so you know, if you ever call Taylor a tool for real, he'll mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up as Swiss cheese like these poor guys. Okay, weapon hot. Got something for you.
take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter that says you can do it. Attack mode info is synced across the team. Want to see something? We all see it. Even the cover. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Five pits and sophisticated ground units are a lot trickier. Those bots have a hive mind. Try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these, super easy. Go ahead, back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. It happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault meant it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. You had them freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now, we go find them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Off by his terrorist pals. Lamal was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, Zerk security force got sanded to him. Outcome! Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. But that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, new bud. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Setting his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. Heads up, hospital, second floor. Check your fire, civilians do not targets. Out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme 
circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a but coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took a ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. They're sick. They really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man specialist Peter Moretti. He's going to help you understand how awesome you've become. Remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over... You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage.
They're using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. How about that? Now you never have to worry about what's lurking in the darkness. Starting to like you. 